So, this is a PSP title, yes. Only the greatest warriors will reach them. Do, 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 do. I'm curious how the levels are set up. Welcome to Motorstorm. Okay, this is like a spiral. Do you see this? <laughs> the funny part is like you already see the spiral in the bottom, although it should be here. <laughs> eh? Okay. Volume? Sound effects? Work with me? I should hear you. I mean, game looks good. I just don't hear anything. I think I'm gonna have to restart the emulator. Why does nothing ever turn out like it should? Alright, welcome to Motorstorm Arctic Edge on the PlayStation 2. So the emulation itself, like it shows that it's running in 60, right? Like up here. It says... 5994 which is the NTSC frame rate which should be 60 but honestly the gameplay it looks somewhere in between 30 and 60. So obviously Arctic Edge features mostly frozen tracks as far as I know. A minimap or or something you so you know how far you're ahead. Yeah I don't know what's missing like so many basic features. Okay the close cam is a little bit nauseating. <laughs> Okay, that works. I wasn't sure how the phys physics is gonna handle me landing like this. I gotta say, game's handling is very intuitive. Oh wow, that does not look like a normal path to take. And after the super high difficulty of all the previous motor storms, this feels like a breeze. Then again, we're at the beginning of the game, so I don't think I wanna kick your ass too much. Yeah, Shadow Fox, it was actually thanks to you that I remembered the number. Oh, that's good cut. That's good cut. Dude, I can't even explode fast enough. <laughs> I wanted to. Dude, they are chain vehicles. Actually, how do you how do you call them? They usually would call this a tank, but it's, it doesn't have weapons. <laughs> it's like a snowplow, isn't it? That's kind of cool. I like I like the level design of Arctic Edge. To be fair, though, it is easier than the older Motorstorm games, at least so far. Ow! I think the crashes are not super spectacular in this game. Let's see if that's a good idea to drive with this thing. <laughs> I mean, obviously, these paths are usually made for the tinier vehicles. But it doesn't stop you from doing it in trucks. Unless, as you said, it's like an iced over specialized road. Then you can. Ooh. Also, I feel like it's time for another PlayStation Portable anyways. Considering how successful the Switch is. I feel like Sony could come up with a, wow, with a device that is rivaling the Switch. I mean, Nintendo is already developing another Switch model, so why wouldn't Sony try to compete? That's my opinion. Dude, fantastic soundtrack in this game. Are you kidding me? Like, how can they afford such a good soundtrack back then for a PSP game? But whenever we're talking about modern race games, you get a really mediocre soundtrack. Like, I don't believe for a second that licensing music for a video game is super expensive. I think they just want to pay nothing for video game soundtracks anymore. Like, they just, just save that little bit of cash to increase the revenue. Alright, let's do it! Wasabi Yuki, a snow machine. Okay, these close cams are a bit extreme. <laughs> so the last time I was using one of these snow machines, how do you even call them? Snowmobile, thank you. The last time I actually raced a snowmobile was in James Bond Nightfire. It was a game for the GameCube. I think that was the last time I played a, 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 a race in a snowmobile. And guns were definitely involved. Yeah, this is actually the same game as the PSP one. Just looks a bit better. <laughs> also the sound works, which is pretty nice. But the PSP emulation did not work whatsoever. Dude, I did it again. Boost away from the wall. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Racing a snowplow. My life is complete. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn. The one. Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Sunburned. Because I forgot sunscreen. Whoa. Hello. 
Oh yeah, I remember. Like using using the boost causes avalanches in some areas. Also, if someone car, car someone's car explodes in this game on PS3. Yeah, could have been cool. But now imagine this game on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. Now we're talking. Now we're talking amazingness. 10 seconds and first. Bonus star. What do you do with the bonus stars? The bonus stars unlock later events. Okay, so we definitely want to get this. <laughs> Dude, what's up with my right front wheel loop? <laughs> Uh, and my front right wheel is having a spasm. I think it's better. It's hard to say, man. Like, they're all very similar. The, uh, the handling is way easier, though, on this on this game. So you kind of want to trigger avalanches because it's going to cool you down. Dude, look at this. This is some really nice track design. How did you fall? Well, I mean, gravity. I might need a different vehicle other than the bike when I'm so far behind already. At least I don't see where all the opponents are. Interesting, the one down there has more toughness, but it actually is slower. I thought it's just level 2. You know what I mean? It has more speed, less acceleration, but more handle. I think that one's gonna be good. Dude, I thought it's just like level 1, level 2, level 3, but they're actually like trade-offs. What is this idiot doing? Shit. Okay, that's... Unfortunate, not knowing that I can't drive there. This thing is really fast. The bike just was not cutting it. I do like the tracks, but I think the downside of Arctic Edge, everything is the snow environment. What I liked about Pacific Rift is that you had, well, wind, fire, water, earth, right? You had four environments. So Arctic Edge is a little bit like Apocalypse. In Apocalypse, everything explodes. In Arctic Edge, everything is frozen. So, yeah, I like this environment. But I still think I like Pacific Rift more because of the extra variety. Although I think I like the handling in this game more because it's more direct. There's a lot, left, a lot less drifting going on. Whoa. Whoa! Hello. Avalanche. Stone Lange. Snowmobile with a spoiler. You would get, you get some air behind the driver. Not too much, agreed. But some. Also, it looks cool. Everything... Every vehicle needs a spoiler. You know what the problem is with streaming your entire body instead of just the dapper, dapper part? You can't scratch your balls without people seeing it. Not seeing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, is, that is a problem. Or you just don't care. But then you might get banned for the sexual content if you scratch your balls on live stream. Oh, I'm pretty sure somebody would call ball scratching uh, toxic masculinity or something. <laughs> I think man spreading is such a stupid concept. Like, just from my anatomy, I have a wider sitting position, you know? I mean, no one ever complained, but if someone were to complain, I would be like, can you relax for a goddamn minute? <laughs> that is my anatomy. That is the. Yeah, my natural way of sitting. And if I sit differently, it's extremely uncomfortable. So why should I sit uncomfortable just because you're offended? I'm about to end this man's whole career. Sometimes it's a little bit too easy to crash. But yeah, if you add if you add an hour, whoa, then I'll play an extra hour. Don't think we checked that. Whoa, the fuck game. Dude, I need to go up there though. Why do you spawn me down here so stupid again? I don't think I can go there. <laughs> That's the moment where you jump off your snowmobile. I think some party in a bus. Whoa, let's go. <laughs> Shit. Man, I, I, feel like, I feel like the driver deserved to survive this. Still alive. Still alive. <laughs> How did we drive over him? Of course it's we have. Physics. Holy shit. Daniel. Whoa! Holy shit, this explosion completely destroyed me. That shockwave got me good. <laughs> Actually, that reset was probably faster than getting the car under control. So bullshit this part of the track. Who made this? It's so bad. Like, every single car loses the grip there. 
it's down a downhill jump and you end up in a wall. That's some really shit track design this part. Like I've crashed every single time, including all of the NPCs. Nani! <laughs> so stupid. How the explosion of other drivers fucks you over. I'm pretty good myself. Whoa, that's a lot of dead people. Fantastic. And just bring me out again. How in fifth? Where's everyone? How did you fall so far behind? Dude, this event's insane. How is it so hard? Up until now, every event was manageable, and this one is kicking my ass. I'm gonna have to try the fast door car. Perfect run or nothing. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Alright then. Fast the car, better run. Better path is a win. Dude, look at my opponents, they're nowhere to be seen. What an insane difference. Either way, I'm out. Guys, sleep tight. Definitely do come back on Thursday and good night. <laughs> bye bye.